Welcome to another edition of Letter Riff, and today we're going to be talking about Hang Your Moon. Um, so, uh, this song is definitely on the wackier side arrangement-wise, and we're real proud of it. So, let's get to it. So, it's got a bit of a little wonky riff that the verse follows, and uh, I should say right off the top, we are in drop D, half step down. All right, half step down, drop D. Uh, so... I will, uh, I'll play you a nice little D chord uh, with the low D and you can hear what my guitar sounds like if you're trying to listen and play along for comparative purposes. <laughs> Close enough, eh? All right, so we're, uh, let me play the riff and I'll talk about it a little bit. This is what it's all kind of based around. So I'm doing uh, I'm doing a power chord on the second fret of the low D string, um, which is an E, and then I'm hitting an A, just you know just an A chord, and then back to the E, and then I'm doing uh, a C sharp. So That's it, but I'm doing it with more gain, so it's got a little bit more gent, D-G-E-N-T, or whatever the metal guys call it. And then when we get to the chorus, it's all that kind of release, so we're moving. We're moving from a D major to a D minor. And then I kind of do a little bit of trickery within that, but that's the chord progression. So from the verse into the chorus, let me play it. Uh, again, uh, got that verse riff, that weird wonky turnaroundy riff, and then the chorus. We're in a low open D string, and then a power chord on the ninth fret. Sorry, an octave on the ninth fret of the A string. So, and then down a fret, back up to eleven to twelve, and then we're playing a C sharp which is uh, the ninth fret of the low D string. So again, same thing for the second verse. Uh, and then we take it real heavy. So then we do the same same progression as we do in the verse, but we just, we make it heavy, we make it slidey. And that's what we do here. So I'm playing the same notes, but I'm playing it all now on the, the low D string so that I can kind of move faster and incorporate a couple little slides and make it a little bit more fluid. So before, in the verse, this is what we have. And this is what we do in the bridge. So that uh, those frets are two to uh, seven, back to two to eleven. So for the camera, for the close up. Nice quiet bass break. And then we kind of come to our thrash bridge riff. Um, 
which I'll play for you, and then we'll talk about. All right, let's do it. <laughs> So, nice and slow, we're going from the, uh, this is mostly on the A string, and then once in a while we check up on the D string. So, uh, we're starting on the 8th fret, and we're going, just sliding down to the 7th fret, so. And then, uh, the 7th fret on the low D string. So. So, I'll play it nice and slow, you can see what I'm doing here. So again, then we move to the fourth fret of the A string and then kind of back and forth between the third fret and the fourth fret. So. Next part. Which is the ninth fret of the A string. And the third part. And then I'm just sliding up an octave of this C sharp and bending it for that big old release. So again, nice and slow, the whole bridge part for you. So I'm starting, when we start that course, we're just starting on that big power chord after the open. And then eighth fret again of the A string. Just like before. And then we do this. So we're same thing, so C sharp, we're you know, hitting it real hard, then we slow down. Big old, big old D, and then we start rolling back on the volume. Ooh, it's getting nice. And then I do this freaking crazy chord. I don't know, I think it's a minor seventh or something like that. Somebody told me that one time. I don't know, they could have been lying though. Uh, a chord. So open, let me, let me, let me just show you what I'm doing and I'll describe it. So it's an open A. And then my pinky's on the seventh fret of the D string. My ring finger is on the sixth fret of the G string. My middle finger is on the fifth fret of the B string. And my first finger is on the fourth fret of the uh, E string, high string. So all that together. That's nice, eh? Isn't that nice? So from the D. start the little hang your moon part and I'll just show it to you real real slow on this camera rather than try and explain it because that will be a headache for both of us so let's do it let's do it from that the top of the breezy part we'll throw that in for free on the house <laughs> So it's really kind of just like an uncharacteristically really pretty moment from our band. Uh, and that uh, that's how you play it. Um, I'm just playing, I'm doing a little hybrid picking. So I am, uh, when I hit the D, um, I'm hitting that with the pick. But then I'm using my middle finger to simultaneously start this little, little riff within it. And I'll play it real slow for you. So... <laughs> Most of those notes are just hammer-ons because it's easier to play that, that way rather than pick them individually. And 
that's it. Easy as pie. So we start with our... We take you for a trip and we hope you've enjoyed it. Um, anyways, yeah, that's how to play all those parts. Um, as I said, uh, you can kind of pick out what I'm doing there. I'm just moving between the D and that uh, that A chord. We always have a joke around uh, around our parts, the nil parts, the, the nil jam space. The hit factory, as the kids like to call it. Uh, that uh, any chord that isn't a major or minor or a seventh is a sus chord. Uh, because it sounds suspect or suspicious. So I've described this as an A-sus. <laughs> sounds pretty suspect to me. So anyways, uh, that's Hang Your Moon, and we hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, keep playing your guitar, please keep playing your bass, keep playing your gosh darn saxophone, if that's what you're into. But uh, just keep making music, and, um, and uh, we love you very much. Hail, hail, rock and roll, and uh, we'll see you again soon. All right, take care.